What's poppin' Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this mother sucker, baby. Join me as I read you, you all's lives. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know, baby, I appreciate each and every single one of you mother suckers. Uh, yes, I do, baby. We got a milli wop on that hoe. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. You guys already know I appreciate each and every, each and every, baby. Each and every single one of you Pisces. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature so also check out my four questions for $35.55 down in the description box down below and I will be going live on Friday to answer some questions and to talk my shit so Pisces without further ado darlings give yourself an ass clap and a hand clap and a ball clap and a cheers as well for all of my Pisces out there. I'm sipping on my hot cocoa baby today. Okay, so it's either hot cocoa or white chocolate. Let's see what's going down in the motherfucking atmosphere for the weekend, Pisces. I got my blunt here ready. So I hope you got yours ready to light up, smoke up, toke up, do what you got to do, kick your Pisces feet up. Ass clappeth, baby. Okay. Hand clappeth. Let me stop talking my shit. Let's see what's going down for my Pisces. Spirit, you are welcome into this Piscean reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods in this whole baby. So we're going to find out what's going down from Friday to Saturday to Sunday. Y'all know how I do, baby. Now, I want you to put your pretty little index or your, or your middle finger on that like, share, and subscribe button. I'm going to put chocolate in the algorithms for your motherfucking girl. Let's see what's going down, baby. All right, we got castle. It's time for healing, not war. Uh-oh, Pisces. So some of y'all might be wanting to talk that shit, start that shit, honey. But I'm seeing for some of you guys, the battle is over, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, you got a spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. So some of you guys are going through a lot of forgiving here, Okay. I feel like some of y'all might be sitting in the tub soaking thine ass. For some of you guys, this could be you needing to let go of the unnatural world, okay? Some of you guys need to come and do some of that uh, shadow work. It says dragons, slay them all. So I feel like some of you guys are iffy in between, okay? If you want to slay a dragon, if you want to be the dragon slayer, okay? Are you the dragon? Are you getting ready to defeat this hole or what, okay? But we got dragons slay them all Pisces now I definitely see some changes making changes some of you guys might be making changes to your hairstyle okay this could be getting rid of the dead weight uh oh but I'm seeing some of you guys are coming into your happiness with this potion remember to practice self love up in this bitch okay some of y'all might be taking care of flowers vegetation this could be your gardens, okay? Some of y'all, this could be your garden of Eden. Letting go of the snakes and the serpents you didn't see coming. Uh-oh, Pisces. Now, your weed fairy godmother is going to tell you it is time for some self-love. Okay, some of y'all could be making potions in the ocean, baby. Okay, some of y'all might be making a lot of uh, progress. 
when it comes down to your life of luxury, okay? This is the lifestyles of the rich and famous. <laughs> so let's see what's popping for the motherfucking weekend, baby. We also got tower energy here. And flower, be honest with yourself. So I don't know if you guys are coming back from a battle. Okay, if you in the in-between world, some of y'all might be getting messages and signs and signals and shit that's telling you, okay, stand back, my child. Speak ancestors. The number 25 could be very significant for some of you guys, or this is that moon that's popping on the 24th okay that raspberry beret we ain't even gonna call it the strawberry moon okay so let's see what's popping for my pisces for friday i need the ancestors like tell it Lorraine. <laughs> okay so i'm seeing a lot of you guys you could be taking care of a fire sign child or this could be some good news that you might be waking up to for some of you guys I'm seeing some of y'all taking care of some sort of puppy or there could be a dog that's around for some of you all or just a companion. But I'm seeing you guys holding your own motherfucking cup. Pisces, three of pentacle energy here. So I see you putting in a lot of work. You have a tower here as well too. So you could be dealing with a Virgo and Taurus Capricorn. I'm also seeing Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But you got a jump start to the day, honey. It's going to be some clear skies. You got the chariot energy as well. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancetian. But I'm seeing things that are definitely moving. Okay, like I said, this is that mind control. Pisces. I like that. Two of Wands energy here. So you might have two different things that you might be analyzing or that you might be constructing here. Okay, some of you guys might be doing something with some art as well too. Or this could be family projects. But I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords and also the Four of Wands, this could be something outside that some of you guys might be analyzing. But I'm also seeing with this Tower energy here, there could be just some fun that's coming about, all right? This also could be for some of you guys exploring your options, seeing the magical side of life with the High Priestess and also the Moon energy here. This is definitely a lot of magical time that's getting ready to go down. And I'm seeing for some of you guys, you might feel like you just need to stay in the house or just, you know, chill, okay? Friday evening in this hole, we have the Six of Pentacles, also the Two of Cups. So there could be possibility of some of you guys having clear chances of a soulmate connection. <laughs> So, Pisces, two of cup energy here, also six of pentacles. You might be mirroring something or there might be something about a mirror, okay, for some of you guys or some of you might be purchasing a mirror. Um, but I'm seeing some sort of connection that's definitely transpiring here with this world energy when it comes down to Friday night. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And I'm also seeing with the four of pentacles, some of you guys might be feeling like you're wasting your time on something that is not clear to you or something that's not obvious to you with this Leo Sagittarius area. So you might be waiting for your ships to come in. All right. Magician energy here, ten of pentacles. I feel some of you guys at the end of the day, you could be making a lot of financial blessings. Pisces. But there's also a spy here, a hacker. Okay. Page of Swords coming out. So somebody could be doing some things online. Okay, it could be messing with some cameras. All right, I'm also dealing, I also feel like some of y'all might be dealing with some ghosts, some ghost Christmas pads. This could be seeing the natural world with, for some of you all, this could be a Gemini. All right. But I'm seeing a lot of reflection here and making plans at the end of the day. This could be making plans because he has some sort of solution in his hand, okay? I'm also seeing a lot of build here as well. And some of you guys are leaving some things behind. This could be, um, you know, having a good, nice meal with your family and making plans. But I see a lot of life of luxury with this nine of cups. This could be running into Saturday. Some of y'all might be shopping as well, okay? Doing some online shopping. Some late night online shopping. So let's see what's popping, Pisces, for Saturday. Let me get what fell. 
There could be some sort of communication or just some direct information that's coming towards you about some finances. I do see a lot of finances is getting ready to come towards you. So let's see what's popping. Saturday. The devil. Some of y'all might be waking up to masturbation with great music. Could be a Capricorn. Also, could be for the love of money. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here, baby. You got the Ace of Pentacles coming out. Also, the Page of Pentacles. Somebody is fighting for your time, your attention, baby. Okay, also could be a package that some of you guys might be receiving as well, too. But I'm seeing a lot of packages, okay, or some sort of offering or somebody offering you um, some sort of skill. This could be with a child, a Virgo, and Taurus Capricorn as well. All right, Saturday morning, I'm seeing lots of love, okay? Five of Pentacles as well, too. Some of you guys have left somebody out in the cold. And they are shivering, Elsa, okay? Now, for some of you all, this could be that um, somebody is juggling two different energies, or all together, some of y'all might just be trying to stay in the heat with your air conditioner. Okay, trying to stay cool as a fan. Pisces. But Ace of Cup energy here and also Five of Pentacles. All right. Um, I'm also getting for some of you guys with this uh, Eight of Pentacle energy here. Some of you guys are studying, analyzing. Some of you could be washing dishes, could be uh, just perfecting some things. All right. Because I see somebody with apron. This also could be some food as well, too. So let's see about Saturday. Saturday. Give it to me for a Saturday night for my Pisces. All right. Five of sword energy here. Also king of swords. There could be some sort of mishaps. Or somebody's playing some mind games with you. Because you got the seven of, cup, uh, the seven of um, sword energy here. Also the two of wands. So somebody could be on some trickster type of energy, but I'm seeing that a lot of you Pisces are definitely moving forward. This trickster could be a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Ten of Swords. Also death energy here and Page of Swords coming out once again. So you definitely have a little hacker that's in your midst, baby. Okay. By nightfall, I see some of you guys that could be online. All right. But I'm also seeing that a uh, Virgo and Taurus Capricorn is wanting to move towards you, but they feel like you've ended some things with them. Tower energy here also double, like I said. Some of y'all could be doing some sex, drugging, and rocking and rolling, okay? Could be a phone call or somebody reaching out to you all of a sudden is what I'm picking up here, okay? Could be a Capricorn, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This might be something that takes place online. There's a lot of shit that's going down. This could be Facebook, Instagram, all right? Your messenger, WhatsApp. All that shit. That's what I'm seeing. Seven of... Uh, Seven of Cup here, also Hermit. Okay, some of you guys could be, like I said, doing a lot of shopping online or uh, doing some investigating as well with this uh, Hermit energy. Could be dealing with Virgoing as well. So let's get a um, Oracle card for Saturday to confirm for my Pisces. Give it to me for my Pisces. We got little brother, little sister, okay? Sibling, younger friends, responsibility, yes. So there's somebody you're waking up to with love, okay? Or this could be um, somebody that you know, okay? Some sort of responsibility. You also have mermaid in a pond, rediscover your individuality and become the dragon. So somebody get ready to enter the dragon, okay? You might be dealing with koi fish or pets as well too, okay? But I'm seeing Alice in a sea of tears. Cast away out your death, feeling abandoned. Okay, some of you guys might be dealing with the old, um, you might be dealing with a like old energy, okay, or something that arises that's new. But it says the end of sadness of looking back, endless regret, obsessive belief, and replaying the past negative thoughts and nostalgia. And Wolf Moon, I will watch over you. So there is a companion here, like I said. Some of y'all might be dealing with all kinds of different types of companions. This could be brother, sister, all right, animals, all right, fish, wolves. I'm getting all kinds of shit here. Now, for some of you all, it's saying that somebody's obsessing over you, okay? Because we got Atremus of the Forest. 
Now you are independent and free. So yeah, somebody's looking into the deep, dark scope of things when it comes down to you. But I also feel like you could be getting some sort of information from your um, from somebody that you trust. All right. So let's see what's popping for Sunday. Give it to me for Sunday. Hey, some wands here. So a new beginning, fresh start. Okay, especially if somebody had you um, in your old thoughts or somebody is in their thoughts about your memories. Okay, with you. Let's see what's up, baby. Sunday morning, popping off. All right, Knight of Wands here. So somebody's making a move, taking a journey. This could be a message as well, too. This could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Queen of Swords. We got straight up Ice Queen, okay? I don't know if y'all, uh, you know, closing somebody out, getting closure, okay? Silencing somebody, okay? This might be silence of the lambs, baby. Lamb chops. <laughs> So, this could be this little lamb of mine, okay, or this little light of mine. <laughs> For some of you Pisces, a lamb could be very significant. I'm getting a lamb plant or something. You have the world energy here. So, there's something coming into fruition. This also could be a fixed sign, a Leo, Torn, and Aquarius here. This has been coming out. Uh, since the spread earlier so you definitely could be dealing with a fixed sign and i'm also what did i say a uh, taurus leo scorpio and um a uh aquarius all right so yeah i feel like some of you guys could be dealing with travel could be traveling as well could be thinking about children or um transporting children through travel but i'm also seeing some of you guys might be um putting up your like guards are putting up a defense here. Okay, some of y'all need to uh, be careful of wearing too tight things around the waist or this could be something about the waistline, all right? But I'm getting with the uh, sun energy here and also the six of swords. Some of you guys are ready to push it to see a new day, baby. Okay, this could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, all right? But I feel like some of you guys are just going with the motherfucking wind when it comes down to Sunday because I'm seeing a lot of um, things that's transpiring here in the weather and in the seasons. I'm seeing um, all kinds of things, all right? This could be vegetation as well, too, but I'm seeing with the Knight of Pentacles, some of you guys might be picking up where you left off, and this could be you coming into fruition, Pisces, all right? I'm also seeing some of you guys doing some shopping as well, too, like I said, or this also could be, uh, you know, picking some fruit or dealing with fruit, like I said, vegetation. We got grapes and stacking coins and writing letters and all kinds of shit here, all right? So for some of you Pisces coming into Sunday, you got some letters or somebody could be writing you or someone could be in the past, okay, with this Eight of Cups stuck, stuck on you, baby. I'm seeing somebody be very obsessive here with you uh, with this Queen of Cups, also uh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, double energy coming out once again. So somebody's very toxic or there could be just somebody altogether that's dealing with the devil, okay? Could be sex, drug, and rock and roll. Somebody got that Elvis pelvis. All right. <laughs> that James Brown around town. Somebody thirsty for you. Pisces, we got the Page of Swords energy here. All right. This could be somebody that you've ended some things with. We got two tens. Okay, there could be some sort of frustration that's happening, but I'm getting that somebody is trying to <clears throat> break through. You got the two of swords, so there could be some sort of fight or somebody that comes back from the past that you didn't bury, put in the dead, honey, threw it in the trash can. Whatever the case may be, there could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I'm also getting Cancer Pisces Scorpio and um, a Leo Sagittarius Aries here. All right, but with this Ace of Wands, somebody is blocked completely off. You're using your intuition as well. And I feel like some of you guys at the end of the day could be just taking care of your children or this could be things in harmony with nature. And also with the Tower Energy here and the Emperor, I'm picking up that somebody's trying to control a situation or a third-party situation with the Scorpio. This could be something off to the side. Okay, also Virgo in as well and Three of Swords here. All right, so you might be seeing... Listen, I'll be telling y'all shit. I'll be like, I don't give a fuck if somebody come back from the dead, honey. Uh, I don't be, I'll be looking at my watch like, when is motherfucker bold enough to do it? 
Okay, but there could be some sort of breakout that's getting ready to happen for some of you Pisces. You got the Ace of uh, Cup energy here. Okay, also two of two of Wands. So there's a um, love that's getting ready to come about, or there could be somebody new or a new spirit. Okay, that's happening. That's coming into your world. But there uh, could be somebody who's very angry with this uh, Three of Swords or somebody who's hurt. Let's get these motherfuckers in order. Yeah, we got to eat food. So like I said, something about some vegetation or going out to eat or something like that. All right. For some of you guys, this could be uh, somebody who's very toxic here. Let's see what's popping. Make sure my cords is right. Here we go. But yeah, there's somebody's ex that's involved here. They could be waiting for time to close in, or okay, or it's time for um, <clears throat> the unexpected. All right, let's see what's popping. We got flex of the extra Pisces, so yeah, and phone call. Yeah, there's a phone call here. Okay, could be somebody who's trying to get your money. Now, uh, right behind phone call, you got transport, so this could be the Hobo Mobile, baby. All right, or some of y'all talking about, um, you know, making some moves here, but you got the tower energy coming out once again and vibes. So some of you guys are vibing out, like I said, but there's somebody who wants to, um, yeah, this is a dusty. Oh, shit. So yeah, there's a dusty popping. All right. Somebody's mama, weed, sex, and drink. All right, Pisces. So you're going to have to roll up for this motherfucker and figure out if you defeated the final boss. Okay. Staying fluid and real shit here. Yeah, so somebody's side piece could be needing to sit on down, baby. Sit on down. Okay? That's what I'm saying. So, I feel like time is of the money. Okay, you got time and toxic, curse. So, time is ticking for somebody. And we got, I see you. Somebody's very obsessed. Ugh. And mental health. All right, this could be a Capricorn, but I feel like somebody's going to try to fix it or um, somebody, this could be somebody's old, dusty, loving friend, okay, that could be hiding the truth of the third party situation. So just be careful with that shit. But I see you guys are definitely living in luxury, but somebody's really obsessed with you, baby. Okay. This could be the shoulda, woulda, couldas, the want nots, can't nots, all right? <laughs> All right, Pisces, I love you guys oh so much. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. But definitely some sort of phone call that's getting ready to come about. Or this could be some money here. All right. I love you, Pisces. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.